Hi, I'm Warren from Fusion Imaging in Sydney, Australia. We've been working in collaboration with Shapeways in New York to develop the world's first 3D printed aluminium FPV racing drone, which we're calling Project Eclipse. Today, we had our maiden flight. We did a series of runs to test the speed, agility, and overall performance of the craft. This was our proof of concept moment, if you like. So let's check it out. Hi everyone, it's Hayden, the developer and designer of the Fusion Imaging drone. Uh, it's a pretty exciting project. Shapeways has released a new material, laser-fused aluminium, and they challenged us to create a drone out of it. So this is the craft. So you can see the camera and the main components have been moved back a little. I found that in a crash, it's the top edge that usually takes the impact. So if we can work the probabilities a bit better to contact the bottom as well as the top edge, it might be better. The bottom is stronger. These arms are pretty long. They can swing seven inch props if one wants to. My personal crafts have been five or six, like most people's crafts out there. But I started to realize that if the thrust disc areas are further apart, for very high rates, rolls are more of a roll rather than a jump due to the total thrust area being too close to the other side. We're using Lumineer 2206 motors. These little beasts are very powerful like the Emax. The Emax is really good as well, but it, this is just more compact. And with the wires taken down to this lens, it's only 25 grams per motor. So that's like a Cobra motor. It's incredible. So absolutely incredible balance. There's, there's no sound to it. It's extremely smooth. The poor buggers driving this uh, motor, they're a little B20 ESCs. I've never managed to burn one, touch wood. The flight controller in there is a KISS FC, excellent new flight controllers. They, they do wonders uh, in terms of stabilization. Warren wants to ask me a question and explain myself. Why is the center not 3D printed like the arms? The arms are beautiful, they can in-house the uh, ESCs and wires protecting from prop strikes. All you need to do when swapping an arm is three solder points for the motor, motor wires and you can slot the ESCs in. Okay, the reason is, when I first designed this, the idea was to create a drone that's not only a show of concept, but something that's really easy for anyone to build. Uh, the complexities are taken out and put all into the 3D printer onto the arms. So anyone could just simply cut a rectangle out of any sort of honorably strong material, put the arms on, drill the holes through the predefined holes in the aluminium, and you have a craft. And crashes are part of a FPV flyer's life. Everybody knows that. Now, if you break your arm, you can simply print another one and off you go. That's why. I just want to mention just before we fly that this aluminium seems to do really, really well for vibrations. I'm not too scientific on why it does that. Um, but for some reason, it is working better than carbon. Under rapid movement, there's a lot less uh, prop wash and you don't really need any gyro LPFs on. All right, Hayden, are you ready to fire up? Let's go. Okay, this is it. This is our maiden flight.
All right, here we go. Hundred and thirty three, hundred and thirty three top speed. Okay, that was its last speed, one hundred and thirty three. Okay, that's a speed of 141 kilometers. Okay, 141. Okay. Okay, so now that you've flown it, give us a quick summary on your overall impression. I was actually pretty happy with the speed it was able to get. It works really well, the motor stayed really cool. The arms must have helped in dissipating the heat. It's full aluminium, one of the, one of the best materials for transferring heat. Um, we even put heat sink pastes under the motors to help uh, absorb the heat. So that did really well, pushing the motor beyond its limits. Uh, the ESCs stayed cool, meaning that maybe there's very little vibrations. It, it's, absorbed, it's absorbed it pretty well, and the frames are very rigid frames. So pretty happy with the result, and we'll be quite excited to see what this material has to offer for the future.